All right, well, here we go. We're recording. Yay. Yay. All right, well, I'm Shannon Borum. I am down in Butts County, Georgia. Go ahead and laugh. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Jackson, Georgia. Um, so I'm about an hour south of Atlanta. And you all probably all know Meredith. So Meredith, take it no. away. Yeah, yes. right. If we haven't, yeah, right. Yay, there's Sue. Hi, Sue. Uh, my name is Meredith White, if we haven't met, but I know I've met a bunch of you already. Um, and I am, yeah, Shannon's like an hour south of me. I am northeast of like city center Atlanta. So I'm in Gwinnett County. Um, and I just, this, we're, you guys get an inside look and you can see my water bottle and all my garbage over here because I've just got an office. I've never had an office like in my life. And um, so I'm now doing like instructional coaching and instructional technology, which is super fun um, for all the content areas, not just world language, which is awesome. But it also means like I had to like move in a space and also we've had pre-planning and everything's insane right now. So ignore that when we're back for more, I'll, there'll be stuff up, but I just got moved in. So yeah, kind of fun. Never had an office. So it's pretty cool. And we're ready to rock and roll. Yeah, we are. Let's see. I've got somebody waiting in the room. All right. So I guess we should explain sort of what we're doing with this thing this yeah. year because it's new for everybody. Yep. Um, so is everybody here from Georgia? I'm hoping even if you're not from Georgia, you know that we have had, I guess, a couple of really cool years of um, virtual PLCs. You know, we've got them for Spanish, for French, for middle, for high school, for DLI, for uh, my rural one. We have one for administrators. We have a bunch of folks. Um, are a bunch of different PLCs. And Meredith and I, of course, are always like, mm, what else can we do? Um, and so we thought, oh, she's great with tech. And then I'm like, oh, I like tech, but I am not great at it in a world language situation. So maybe we should talk to other people about it. So that's sort of what we're doing here. We're yeah. trying to blend technology with um, like good pedagogy in foreign language. So we want to give you mm -hmm. some like practical stuff about it. Today is really not a world languagey thing. It's really just a teachery thing. But um, as the year goes on, our goal is to give you more like languagey things to do with technology. So that's the genesis of why you're here today. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and we want we wanted it to be like free for like Georgia beyond. Obviously, we've got Wisconsin, Colorado, like different places here currently on this call, um, which is really neat. So yay. Uh, she, she, Kelly, I was like, that's my line, Kelly, because I know, because I love saying when people like you're when you're somewhere like Albuquerque, you know, it's like, oh, I, I'm from right outside Albuquerque in um, Atlanta, you know, and they're like, oh, okay, <laughs> very funny. So, dang it, Kelly, you stole my line. So yeah, we wanted to be like widely available, free, all the things, you know, just to come see the recording or you know later or whatever. Um, and obviously, everything you'll see is like shareable. You could like whatever we're shannon and i are both like very open sharers shannon what time does your open house start does it start totally like shares and we're open um yeah i start at five so we have just oh, okay. no, no no my dinner is at five so i'll go get some greasy pizza oh okay and then good then you've got plenty of time right. because from Ours here down i'm totally wearing shorts so i'll put oh, on heck yeah. <laughs> as you should that's Free right planning. i just didn't want to all of a sudden be like oh let me mute you if somebody can um no. yay so yeah let's rock and roll um all you right. want to start us off you want to go like back and forth yeah, 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 sure. Okay. Um, so, hi, yay, New York. Um, really and truly, I think the thing that's been the most... Oops. Um, oh, I pasted oh, mine in the wrong place. My bad. Oh, well. That's okay. That's all right. We'll, we'll just talk through it. Um, really, like, the best thing that I can think of is to find your sort of class flow. And a lot of people... One of the things that I started doing in, I guess, last year, I start my class every day with something. Oh, look, that's an old version. Ignore the mm -hmm. Tuesday. I changed it. Um, like, we do huh. something every day. So, Monday is... Um, reading Tuesday, I've changed it to a meme day. So like meme Marty. Um, so we just look at a stupid meme every day. Uh, Wednesday, I show them a video. Um, oh, what do we call those things? Music video. Like I take last year's like playlist and just play one video for a week, uh, each week. And the kids are like, oh, these are terrible. Like they hate them. <laughs> like my kids hate those videos. Like it's the worst day of the week. Uh, um, what a bunch of they, haters. They're like, so rude. I do not even know how old I am at this point because it made me feel terrible that you don't even like watching a music video. Uh, um, but right, no, 100%, uh, they're bored. Oh, that's annoying. Too know, bad, we're I watching can, it anyway. I could watch my own things on YouTube, really. Yeah. Um, Thursday, we just make a list. I pick one kid, and I'm like, what would you like? And so we're previewing a pretty good phrase for them for down the road. And then on Friday, I do a, a student of the week. And so we call it Vedette Vendredi. So if you don't have sort of a thing that anchors your class, that's a really good start. Do something um with like some routines so you can change that slide because i really have an, a typo on no that. that's okay i'm gonna put a uh, i'm gonna put a template in the chat here so i did so along the same lines i'm gonna put two things in the chat because i forgot to put the links in the presentation my bad um and this one so in terms of like unit 
routines. I also love routines. And I, I think we think like kids are going to get bored. You know, we're like, oh, we can't do the same thing every Wednesday. No, even if it's a corny video, they're like, oh, that's right. Ugh, it's musica miércoles. But they're laughing, you know, and you're like, that's right. Cheesy commercial time or cheesy song time or whatever. Um, so I would do along the same. So I'm going to do two things. The first one is um, the documents here that you can get into. And if you want to, don't be thrown off by the fact that it's a slideshow. They're documents. They're like formatted for eight and a half by 11. So they're vertical sheets of paper. I print these. I don't do these digitally. Um, and what they are are just like some unit template copies. So like you said, like warm up at the beginning of class, like that kind of thing. Or we're going to say that on this next slide too. But um, like the warm up, but like if it's themed, that's my warm up paper. And then if we do like, oh, it's Tuesday, we're going to do a dictation. Um, or we're going to do like, we're going to look at an authentic resource video. And um, you're going to like do your... Uh, what do you call it? The authentic resource, like interpretive guide there. So wherever those came from, if the person um, that helped like inspire it has a blog or a website or a link or anything, it's like tagged somewhere on there, usually on the bottom of the document there. Um, and then the other thing was like, um, like Shannon said, I also, this is super weird because this is not, I guess I didn't change, oh, whatever. I'm going to put my Pinterest in there too because I did the same thing. I had um, local lunes. I don't know that like the word crazy has aged very well, but I like something crazy in the news on Mondays. So when it's like alligator, you know, not something where like somebody gets hurt, but just like something unbelievable, I would do that. Or like layer <laughs> lunes. Like Florida man. <laughs> right, that's right. Florida man in the day. God, Florida going to Florida, right? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Um, and we can say that it's for our neighbor. It's, right. it's like family. <laughs> they probably have Georgia men down there, so it's yeah, okay. Yeah, but they do. But how could <laughs> they oh, do? God, what could they say? <laughs> anyway, I don't even want to think about it. Um, so I had like local lunes, like same as you, like um, musica martes or menu martes. It was a nice way to stick in like an authentic resource or, to, you know, some food yeah. stuff. Um, so, you know, same thing. Another M word for miércoles, jaja jueves. Oh, um nice. And then like video viernes or like viaje viernes. So just a lot of alliteration. That's what helped me keep it straight. And honestly, like it was just kind of more fun that way. So things like that, whether it's like a repetitive document, like in that first link or a repetitive, like a themed um, kind of thing. I really, I was, I wanted to decide as many things as I could at the beginning of the school year, especially to decide what technology I was going to use. And so like, okay, oops, let me turn off my radio. Y'all, let me tell you, people, you thank you. I, did, I know I got a radio. I don't know why they trust me with this, first of all. Second of all, everyone said it was going to be a huge hassle. No, I know everything. All I of know. the gossip is on here. Kids run from stuff. They just have to be chased. It's amazing. <laughs> anyway, I had no idea how many kids we chased in the woods. It's a lot. Uh, so what, reason 400 not to be an administrator. Anyway, so in those in those Pinterest pages, you'll see that I have them divided by those. And that's where I would find stuff. Like you mentioned memes. That's where I would find stuff and save them. That way they don't get overwhelming. And like you see one, you go, oh, that's cute. Where the heck am I going to save it now? Like where? how am I ever going to find that later? So thinking about ways to um, kind of organize all those things, you know. Um, and, and that's and which is what, I, what I put here. Oh, sorry. I just cut it. You're sorry. Mm -hmm. You mentioned it really about, look, you're, you're, and I'm like, I got a Coke. I'm dying to not like drink my Ding. Coke. Um, routines. Like we talked about routines a lot, I think in pre-planning. And I think a lot, like Meredith said, we think kids are going to get really bored of routines, but they're not going to get bored of the activities. And the routine is actually mm -hmm. really like, they know what to expect. And so if you're mm -hmm. like me and I'm the only French teacher after French one, I don't really have behavior issues because they understand the flow of class. They know what to expect. They've seen the the thing, the way that th things operate in my class and like it removes so many issues in my class. Um, I actually think I stole this from Meredith one time. Heck yeah. Um, but like, <laughs> yeah, everyday IPA. Take we, it all. So, yeah, we, this is what we do every single day in our class, right? We go over a can-do statement. We have a warm up. We do a little review if we need to. Um, we do a learning phase and then they do the IPA sequence. And at the end, it's a little self-assessment. And so I have these chunks of class every single day. So my kids know, okay, well, I've got 10 minutes where she's going to give me a lesson or 15 minutes or whatever. Yep. And then I know I have to do this next thing. I'm either going to read or I'm going to listen or, I, and I got to talk to somebody and then I'm going to do some writing or I'm going to do a stupid flip grid. My kids hate flip grid, by the way. Yo, yeah, I don't love it. Mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> which is weird because then they're doing like their b-reel and tiktoks and whatever i'm like so it's not you you like watching yourself just not 
Got it. Yes. Okay. I need somebody to do some research on how we can make them not hate that because I love it. And it's my favorite. I do thing too. It's so on. nice. Oh, I love it. So, I mean, it's, you know, after the first month of school for me, the kids just come in, they know what to do. The, those expectations, you don't like all my colleagues are like, oh my gosh, I have to teach expectations the first week. And I'm like, I'm just going to come in and teach and they're going to get it while we're like, this is what we do. Like period. Yeah. Right. And I don't, yeah. And so it's predictable and they like predictable. Yeah. And it's like, and we have a, not gonna lie, we have a lot of students and teachers with some anxiety. So knowing that they know what's going to happen throughout the yes. day in your class, it's a really, it's comforting. And it also makes lesson planning so nice. <laughs> Absolutely. I was gonna say, and I think it also affirms, not that we need to, but like, I mean, let's be honest, we're sitting here smack dab in a teacher shortage. Like it's not, you know, they're not always getting, they're not getting necessarily like a quality experience in every class that they have. And I think when you say comforting, I think it's, it really is like, it affirms that you have your, you know, caca together and that you're like, yeah. I plan these lessons. This is intentional. I care about this. I care about you. And I think all of that also advocates for our class and our programs okay. and us as professionals. And I will say, like, I'm going to just, like, toot Meredith's horn on the Everyday IPA thing. I, before we started this, before I started it, I was a reading and writing teacher because mm, I totally. hated, Me too. hated, hated, hated group work. I was like, these kids will never do this. I hate explaining it. Mm -hmm. But when you can break it down and have these five or six elements every day, it's so manageable and so mm -hmm. nice. Like, yeah. you have three minutes to interview somebody and now we're going to do something with it. It doesn't become like this time suck in your class that you lose control of. So yeah, finding some sort of routine for how you plan and how you operate your class is great. Um, and then you can sort of take all of those things and make them digitally work for you too. So like everything yeah. for me, you'll see all of my things for the entire unit is in one document because yeah. I cannot stand having stuff everywhere. Mm -mm. No. And it takes, it, you waste so much time, like looking, you know, it's like, if it takes me more than five minutes to find, then I can probably just recreate it because I'm like, mm -hmm. this is crazy. Like this doesn't need to be this way. And uh, sure. yeah. So also, like you said, figuring out like it looking at, um, I said, divide and conquer, like, what do you want the technology tool for? Is it for you? Is it for students? And then, and then the next thing is like doing what is it for you getting organized, presenting content, assessing, is it for students where they can like study? Cause I think we get all these sites and apps and programs thrown at us and we're like quizzes and Quizlet and Kahoot and Gimkit and Blook it and really like two of those are identical. Another two are identical. Like those are like pairs of things that do yeah. the same thing basically, but also not for the same function. So I feel like technology can be overwhelming and being like, all right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Like we're going to do a little listening once in a while. So here's what I'm going to use for my audio or here's where I'm going to put it so that I can find it. And then just like draw it. for me, I had to draw myself like a hard line. You know, it was like your closet, like mm -mm, do not buy any new shoes, one in, one out, baby, because there's no room and we're not, you know, it's like holding yourself to a little like sort of, I don't know, sort of self-disciplining. To me, I find technology the same way. I'm like, don't, mm -mm, do not. I heard about a cool new tool called whatever, maybe next year, because I'm not like mm -mm, being but okay with cool. not. You know, I think in where we are as teachers, uh, you know, every what, four, four minutes, somebody's like, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. there's this great new tool. Yeah. You should do this thing. Here's a cool thing. How can you... So like you get these things thrown at you all the time and you're like, I should be able to use this. I should use this. And you use so much of your brain to just figure out how to make something work. If it, if there's not a need, don't use it. Yeah. If it's not going to fill something that you need to do in your class, don't worry about it. I agree. You know? We gotta, we gotta get better at taking stuff off our plates and putting things on our to don't list, you know, cause yeah. we're like, Oh, yeah. to try, to try, to do, to do no, mm -hmm. to don't like, I do, let me not try that. I mean, even like I've got hours and hours, probably days of stuff in Edpuzzle. And I just kind of phased out of using it because it just wasn't, you know, or if I couldn't embed it somewhere, I would just do it formatively. And I was like, I'm, they're never going to log into Edpuzzle. Like they're just going to do it. And it's honor system. And if they don't, well, they missed out because it's basically the assessment interpersonal questions, you know, like whatever. So it was kind of like natural consequences and that kind of ebb and flow. Like, what are you going to use? What do you want to use it for? Um, what it, can you let it go? I, you know, so much of it, I think of digital deciding and organizing is again, a lot like closet cleaning and things that we do at home with systems where we try to make our pantries more e efficient and our closets more efficient and our like bathroom. It's like, no, I don't, I don't put the soap, you know, over way over here. It's right by the sink. Cause that's where I need the soap, you know? So it's kind of thinking of our digital resources in such the same way for me is helpful. 
okay, I'm 100% gonna send this to my husband and be like, look at all of us talking about organization and putting things in. That's right, look at us. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Um, but anyways, so perfect. Thank you for that segue um, for Anytime. digital or yeah, di <laughs> digital organization, because I, I have a tendency, I think, to over organize. I don't know about you yeah, guys, but I have, like, file for everything. So I've sort of paired it back into like make a file for the unit and you're done. Put everything in there. Um, so I just sort of pulled a screenshot of what my actual folders look like. Mm -hmm. um, so the first, the middle picture. As you can see, I've got a bunch of random stuff, but I have French one, French two, and French three, because those are the classes that I teach. So I have a, a folder for each one of them. Mm -hmm. And then inside those folders, inside of each of those folders, I have a folder for each unit. And so everything for each unit just goes in there. Um, I have a colleague who puts things like daily things, like day one activity, day two activity, day three activity. That's yeah. over organization for me, not mm -hmm. my jam. Um, but I definitely love, like I used to love the file cabinets. I still have one and still use it. Heck um, yeah. So, <laughs> like, mm, just in case I need paper. You never so know. I definitely have that mindset of like the old school, I'm going to dig through my files, but it's in digital, digital format. Yep. And I've done, um, I was just telling somebody the other day, I've done that. I've done the day one, day two, day three, um, which was great year to year because what I was doing before then was, um, was because I was never, because I wasn't caught up. So I was getting my crap together like the day before uh, or the night before or the morning of, let's be honest. <laughs> uh, when the kids go like, what's on Friday's quiz? And you're like, well, I just everything we've seen this week. Cause you're like, girl, I haven't made it yet. Like, I don't know what's on. You should be prepared like, for anything we've talked about. You should just be ready for anything that I throw at you. And then you're like, crap, crap, crap. <laughs> Uh, and then I would feel bad. And again, I'm just being fully transparent. Like then I would feel badly. So I didn't want it to be too hard. Cause like I hadn't told him what was going to be on it. Cause I hadn't made it. Cause I didn't know. So then my stuff was probably like easier than it should be. And I just, I don't know until like that all stemmed though, from like organization and just finding stuff and deciding if I needed to use last year's or whatever. So the day one, day two kind of helped me overhaul stuff because next year it was still day one, day two. It wasn't week of August 5th. Week oh of God. September, because that's not helpful. Because next year it's not, it's not the same. So. One of my colleagues whom I love dearly, uh, literally, Mondays work, Tuesdays work, Thursdays work, and I was like, I would never function. Like Absolutely that. not. No, I don't like to live my life on the edge mm -hmm. like that. I yeah. used to, and it was not great. <laughs> not great for your mental health <laughs> because it was like, ah, you know, you're looking at yourself. So I now do um, exactly as you have, and actually. So I've got um, like one folder actually. So not in terms of documents, but in terms of my ready need things. Like, so all my, I have my stuff in unit folders, like for copies, but then I also have one folder that I'm going to pull over here and show you and give you guys access to. If you, if you care, feel free to discard. Um, well, but it's this, yeah, and yeah right. <laughs> They're like, this ain't impressive girl. Hey, I guarantee quantity, not quality. Um, I've got, so this now is what my Spanish one folder looks like. And what's really nice is that's like daily slides, quiz, quiz, test, daily slides, quiz, quiz, test. So when I go to sit down and plan, I'm no longer overwhelmed. Like, oh God, we're ending unit two tomorrow. I'm ready. Are we ready for unit three? I can really quickly look at like the quiz, like the assessments for that unit. I can make the copies if I want. Again, don't be fooled. They're all slideshows, but the quizzes and the tests are documents. Nothing is digital for the children because... After teaching a COVID, I think we all know the children. So not great. Um, and I will say one little hack that I love that is like when you're in your, let's say Google Drive. I don't know if it works in other drives. I've never, I've never tried it. But when you do like a soft one single click. So let's say I want to see what's up with those daily slides. I just want to do a quick preview. I can not double click, but single click on the individual item in the Google Drive folder and just touch P on my keyboard. And now it's going to pop up a preview. So it doesn't open in another tab. You didn't have to double click. It's not like hijacking your whole browser. And then you're like 60 tabs later. Now it doesn't normally load this slowly, however. Um, so that's like, that was me just previewing it. And I can click within the slideshow and go, oh yeah, what did I do the first day? Oh, that's right. We set up our folders and then we did our um, little like actful videos. I love Leonor. If you've seen those actual oh, proficiency, yeah. Leonor's the best. She's so cute. She's like, ugh, you don't speak yeah, Spanish <laughs> to the interviewer. <laughs> Amazing. All the fruits she uses totally cognates. She's like, mango, uh, right. <laughs> Leonor, we know what you're doing. 
Um, anyway, so I have all of these things, right? So I can see what we did for the first day, change any dates I need, blah, blah, blah. Then they got on to go formative. And then I can see the warm up and so on. And if I just hit escape, I'm back in the folder. I didn't have to open it in another tab. So I can really quickly go through and go, what was on that quiz? Okay, cool. And I only keep last year's stuff. So no, gone are the, mm -hmm, gone are the days. I know it's so hard. Gone are the days of like, cause y'all know how the, Left to our own devices, it's like quiz 3.4, grammar only, E to I E 2014. Like that's the name of the freaking Word document. Mm -hmm. I was like, I can't live my life this way anymore. <laughs> I was living my life in complete chaos. So if I didn't use that assessment last year, it's probably like somewhere where I can copy it. Like I've probably modified it to where I like it better. Or if I'm like, oh, I really like that other one, fine, then recreate it. Like it's just not... I just can't like keep stuff hanging around anymore, which is really hard for me. So if you're interested in that folder, you'll, you can see A, the stuff, which whatever, but um, also kind of like the system and kind of how I organize things. And it's nice because like you've got your templates here and all that kind of thing, Shannon, like I'm the same way. Once I've got one warm up slide template I like or whatever, I'm like, all right, copy, paste, copy, paste. I'm not going to re recreate the wheel. Right. Exactly. Oops, I went backwards. Sorry. There we go. Oh, no. Oh yeah. Um, oh, and the colors. So nice. Colors are great in emojis. I was going to say, I bet Meredith has like emojis for everything on all of your folders. Um, you know, I forget about, I forget about that. And then when I see somebody else do it, I'm like, oh yeah, I forget how cute that is. Like, it's just kind of clever or like to pair. Um, I have a colleague who does it to like pair resources that don't make sense uh, that aren't like in numerical, like she can't, what's the word I want? Like, when she organizes them like the way, the way like um hand up copies all have like uh the little like paper and pencil emoji and oh, then oh. i know i was like that feels like it took you a second but maybe it was worth it so she can look like quickly glance over in a folder or organize by file name now all the like filed things are together because it'll it'll read the emoji as like a letter so you know how they go alphabetical it's oh, like they go alphabetical God. but yeah. i know isn't that With smart i was like i've never done that at least she oh, says that's oh. how it works. Yeah. yeah I was I like, oh, who knew? But I know the numbering too. Bethany Drew does a lot of like the numbering of her resources. Like even in her grade book, her grade book is numbered. Like the grades aren't named, they're numbered. And that way kids go, I'm missing number 12. And they just look at the key and look at what number 12 was. Oh, it was Flipgrid video introducing yourself or whatever. I know. Isn't that freaking genius? That is very smart. Yeah. No, well, I know. I was like, that's really smart. Like that. And so kids aren't going like, um, I'm missing a quick what what are, what quiz are you missing instead they're like i'm missing grade number nine in the grade book i think it's the preterite quiz oh okay yeah let's figure out a time oh, right gosh. whatever that's great. Mm -hmm. well i was the title one parent liaison and uh like at a previous school and before then i had never really seen it number like i never thought about using numbers to organize things and then i saw it the way it, like this woman had 407 million files mm -hmm. right and so we're all numbered and I thought oh my gosh that is super smart I'm going to start doing it so this yeah. is a, a screenshot of my drive like that general resources couldn't tell you what's in it anymore it's just crap that I've collected that general this is the junk drawer <laughs> it is the digital junk drawer but I gave it place number one so cool mm -hmm. there's its props um the second one is just like when you have like stuff that you have to do for school and like I need to keep my certificate there or I need to keep a whatever those copies are they're there yeah. um I have <laughs> my grad work is folder number three and then 3b when i decide to do some research so that one's important going, yep mm, maybe um i have number four these are kind of like the order aside from one and two they're mm -hmm. the colors the colored folders are the ones that are important to like me I, that i use all the time right so red for south carolina purple i don't know why i picked it it makes me happy so mm -hmm. um there's just colors that go with everything right so i've got number six that's a drive that i use all the time that's at my school um so those numbers like they help they help me to organize things by priority without it having to be alphabetical. That's awesome. So that's a, if you haven't, if you're not using them, it's, it's pretty handy dandy. So I just opened like a random workshop folder. And as you were saying that, I was like, Ooh, let me try and number these. And I was like, wait, while I'm here, I added emojis and they self-organized, they sorted. So that's she was cool. right. They do. Hold on. Let me zoom in. So I put the emoji like at the beginning of it. And like they weren't in this order. It was the warm up page was at the top. And then I staggered them like hearts, sleepy, hearts, sleepy. And they immediately like reorganized. So if you wanted to do something like that in your Google Drive, yeah, like they would then kind of auto, 
organized by kind, by type. If you had it in your head, like these are all my audio samples, you know, a little speaker emoji, whatever. Ooh. Random, random hack for that. If you have a Mac, whoop, whoop, team mm -hmm. Apple, um, it is, I don't have mine handy, so I can't look at it, but it's like command control space bar. Hold on. I have command control. I just have to by open way, it. You can also do team Mac. Hold on. There we go. Yeah. Control command space bar will pull up like the emoji like menu. Yes, it did. And Control on a window, like on a PC, um, do Windows key period. Windows key period will be like, boop, did you want to insert an emoji? And you can, I know, isn't that fun? And it's like immediate. And you just double click and it inserts like wherever you were. You can also, I think, start typing. Hold on, let me do a thing. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let me zoom this out and think what I want to do. Uh, I'm just going to click randomly and drive. Windows period. Yeah, so you can start typing, at least on mine. I have an HP. Our work computers are HP. So like once you hit window period, you can start typing like paper and any emoji with paper comes up and then you just hit like enter. You can arrow over. So no mouse. You can just keyboard and stay right there. Arrow over. Pick like the one you want here. I'll bring it over and show you. Because I'm thinking, too, I know people see like nice labeling and they're like, Jesus, take the wheel. How long did that take? Like, I'm not doing that because I know that's where my head goes of like, is this worth it? You kind of go, uh, Missy Elliott, is it worth it? Let me work it. Like, mm, don't know if I want to do that. And so if, I, and if I'm going to endeavor into something, I want it to be worth it. So let's say Windows period. Pretend like I didn't. Of course, the emojis come up on the screen. I don't need them to come up on. They're over here. Let's see if I can do it here. Okay, wait. Bah, come back. Windows period. Paper. There it goes. So I can just go like, oh, I'm on the third one. Arrow, arrow, arrow. Enter. Escape. And we're moving right along. So that's kind of fun if you can get kind of quick like that if you're kind of a keyboard quick keyboard person um that's a nice little shortcut that is i was gonna say i feel like i need to start using way more emojis in my life now that i know oh that. You, you do now <laughs> that's for sure absolutely every email emoji no boop, boop. <laughs> um so like meredith i do I do day one, day two, day three, like all of my units are about 14 days and I have, yeah. don't laugh, yeah. my unit plans for the entire year. It's in one document and everything is hyperlinked. Not going to lie to you, 90 pages long. It's a little bit overwhelming, but literally everything is there. Yeah. When I'm sitting there and thinking about awesome. my lessons, like I've written out my warm up questions. I've written out the vocabulary that I'm going to teach. I've written, it is a, it's almost a script, but that's how my brain works. And that's how it's really good for me. Mm -hmm. To prepare my yeah, lessons. you're really like detail oriented and thorough, which I always think is awesome. I'm definitely detail oriented because I'm like, if I don't do it here, I'm going to forget yep. about it as I'm preparing things. So it's really a way for me to check myself, make sure I've hit all the things that I want to hit. Uh, but so as I'm in this giant document, um, everything's hyperlinked. So like this, as you can see on the screen where it says unit one, personal and public identities, that's our first unit. And I've got a link for the lesson slideshow. So I have two new Spanish teachers and we all have the same units, just I do it in French, they do it in Spanish. Um, and so as we were sort of going over everything, it was really easy for me to just share one document with them. And so they're like, hey, can oh, you show yeah. that slide show? I'm like, you already have it. Look in the lesson plan. It's already there. Um, and I put in another link for my folder. So some some of the stuff, I keep everything in one slideshow for, that I teach yeah. the kids off of. But some yeah. of that stuff is also housed in like a separate document. And so I have a unit folder that you saw a couple slides ago. But it's mm -hmm. all linked in my lesson plan. So if somebody's like, hey, where is that thing? I can always just say, scroll up to the title. Like that's where it is. Mm -hmm. yep. um, I love yeah, it. I love it. And so as you can see, so that's the title. It's on top of every one of my units. Um, and then in the actual like lesson plans, I link, okay, here are the questions that I'm going to ask that links to another document, or here's this comprehension activity, or here's this activity. It's just, mm. to me, hyperlinks lead to hypo frustration right. um, because I cannot do all the clicking. I cannot have 9,000 tabs open. I do not do all the mm -hmm. shortcuts, but it's a bit ironic that I'm sitting here on a tech PLC, but I am not that person and my brain doesn't work and my fingers don't work that way. So I have to link everything yep. and just brings me like some goose for all the energy yeah oh absolutely well and figuring out like what look at, I know, look at julie's it's so good uh it's like figuring out what you like what is i don't know is it like a taylor swift thing is it hi i'm the problem it's me you know like is it just like a system like or is it the tool and i think a lot of times we blame the tool we're like oh google's running slow and it's like or like google's kind of wonky and it's like maybe but also maybe there's some things we could be doing more efficiently like this, like you're saying, to your point that like 
more fit our personality styles, but also just what makes us go, ah, oh, geez. Like, again, I know I walk into my kitchen. If I walk into my kitchen in the morning, down from the stairs to go to the car, go to the garage, leave the house, whatever. If I walk in and there's a sink of dirty dishes, I am immediately, like, annoyed. I'm immediately just, like, gross. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't. It's like walking into, like, clean counter. We did all the dishes after dinner. We didn't have to worry about it. To me, that's really nice. And realizing things like that when it comes to your digital resources do you want links? Do you not want links? Do you think it's like, oh, too many links. Now I got to open up these other windows. Would you rather have just the documents? I have a friend who does this. When you say yours is like 90 pages, hers is like 200 pages because she does every page. She's got like this, like you're saying, but she doesn't want to click anywhere for the handouts. She wants all of the handouts in there. So she literally is like, click at the beginning of the unit, takes the lesson plan parts out, takes the like the worksheet, like the resource parts makes her copies from that. And then she's like, staple, done. And she's got like her, that what? just feels like a lot of time converting like all of it. Cause I know I got PDFs. I was like, I'm not messing with all that. I've got stuff I've purchased. It's a word doc. Oh. It's here. It's there. It's everywhere, whatever. So yeah, but I was like, wow, that's something. That's a choice. <laughs> like, But that's, but that's one of those things like that's going to be like a two-year endeavor. You know, when you're looking at your stuff going, all right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. You know, keeping yourself self-disciplined to be like, to get it. Otherwise it's just, you know, it's not going to change. So for me, same thing. I had to go like, you know what? I am so tired of having different slideshows for like different days or different weeks in the same unit. I'm just going to do unit one, unit two. And that way I can embed it in my LMS Kids can see exactly what we did. The updates are live, yada, yada, yada. I will say I had somebody who will go unnamed um, get my folder and go like, because I was like, hey, if you want to see kind of like the way, like the number of grades we take in my department, easy, it's nine per unit um, or six per unit. Math is hard. Sorry. Wait. Yeah. Six per unit. Um, and sorry. And um, I was like, so you can see how many grades we take. You can see kind of what they are. You can see the assessments like here, take it all. That's all that's in that folder. It's like all the whole thing. And um, it was so funny. He said, wow, I don't, it was in inquiring about a job in my school. He's like, I don't know. This feels like really micromanaged to me just because, just because my folder was really organized. <laughs> so you never know, like one man's trash might be another man's treasure. Someone else might look and go, oh, hate it. And you're like, what? Like, well, how do you hate that? That's just not how their mind works. So I think really reflecting and figuring out like what it is you don't want your stuff to look like if it's digital tools, if it's organization, if it's files and like what, what doesn't work in your planning, like why am I behind or what made me get super, super ahead? Cause I need to keep doing that. If that worked, yeah. you know, and all those kind of things, I think that's important. Knowing, knowing thyself. Uh, for sure. And it's funny that you mentioned knowing thyself, because as I said, I do not like having things in multiple different places. My entire unit, yeah. this is like the front page of my 280, 290 unit slideshow. Like everything that we do is in the slideshow. Yeah. Um, and this Same. works for me because I refer to everything as day one, day two, day three, day four, like, cause I don't care what day of the week it is. Right. I, know right. I just know it's day two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I'm 100% announcements if you want to take over for a second oh amazing sure absolutely no it's the same way though it's because i know i know next year day one of unit four is going to be day one of unit four again so schools canceled covid uh like whatever the thing is that upends us you know and we're like wait but I, you don't have to modify any plans because it's what you're going to do anyway um for sure and, and then getting your resources and your handouts and stuff together too you know figuring for out sure. where you want those to live and how you want those to live mine they just live in a separate folder but I want all my slideshows to be there. Can you scroll back to that one for a second? Because I yeah. just want to talk about like knowing Totes. your brain. This is how mine works. So all of those hyperlinks link into the document. So it's this big slideshow, right? So mm -hmm. day two, when I click on day two, it's going to take me to that day's lesson, day three to that lesson. Mm -hmm. So it's all in one document, but I'm still using those hyperlinks to get to navigate. Um, and this is how my brain works. But the person that I worked with last year, we collaborated on everything. And I was like, okay, well, let's start planning day seven. And he was like, oh, that's Tuesday. What are you talking about? I don't know what Tuesday is. And yeah. so like after about three years, actually took about one semester, we both sort of realized you think of it this way. I think of it this way. So in our mm -hmm. collaborative time, instead of being frustrated and what are you talking about? We would spend the 30 seconds to 90 seconds to be like, okay, this unit, this day, are we on the same page? Right. And then we proceed. So like, we're still collaborating together. We're planning the same things, but they just look different in his brain and therefore in his mm -hmm. classroom than in mine. But 
That's because I can't handle having 9,000 things open at once. It's yeah, all in no, me either. I don't like it. I don't work efficiently that way. And then I get impatient. I feel mm-hmm. too, like, I think a lot of, what's the word I want? Like, human capital or, like, potential, like, potential capital when like collaborative capital is lost because I think people like don't stop to have that conversation a lot it's just like I might like Julie might send me something and I might go oh yeah it's nice oh wait I don't like that part now I don't think I'm gonna use it or I don't know what I'm looking at or like Julie might get something of mine or Sue might get something of mine and go like oh no I don't even know what this means nah and delete it and you're like wait, it's just because, you know, maybe I think of it this way. Maybe I think of it in days or, you know, whatever. Right. Um, but then when you find somebody who syncs up with your thing, you're like, yes, like this is amazing. And it works for my setting and it works for my, but I think we miss out on that a lot because it's like, we don't necessarily, I don't think about that right away. And I have to be like, wait, explain this to me. Or like, what's your, I, I just kind of, I like judge a book by its cover. Basically. I think we do a lot of times because we have limited time. So we're like, chop, yeah. chop, you know, if I spend 30 minutes looking through your stuff to see if I can use it, that's 30 minutes I've used that. 30 minutes. Right. right. And if I'm frustrated and can't figure out, like you have no naming norms, you have no, like, I don't know what the, I, I, that's frustrating. I don't know what I'm looking at. For me. Yeah. Like it's a lot of brain power that I quite frankly don't have most days. Nope. Um, and so like, I, I took a little screenshot here. I don't know if you guys, everything we do is in Google in our district mm-hmm. I, and I love it. And I, like everything that I do is in Google at this point because I just get it. Um, and so I, that 90, 95 page lesson plan for all of French one or French two or French three, I use outlines and headings. And if you're not using them, you are missing out on a pretty powerful tool. So yes, this document is like 90 pages long. And if you open it, you're like, oh my God, I'm not scrolling to figure out where this page is. Like, I don't know where your unit two starts. Thank you for not mm-hmm. making this friendly. I think over the past, like three years of doing it this way, I've probably taught six administrators how to use, um, this, oh, this tab. Yes. Like, what is that? like the outline. So outline good. tab. Yes. Outline tab. So I have my, where it says the unit title, as you can see, unit one, personal public identities, bloop, went away. Um, it's, uh, that is like a heading one. And then the week's, uh, the week's lesson plans underneath it is like heading two or something. And so they automatically nest over there. So once you show whoever is using these documents, Hey, click on view outline, they can easily scroll in and out. Like that's it. It's so easy. So I use that to to organize so many of these massive documents that I that I use all the time. Amen. I added some to our pre-planning agenda. So like if you see a document like this, because like you're saying taught administrators, I was like, let me just mm-hmm. add some days. So we have like seven days of pre-planning or yeah, seven days of pre-planning. So if you open your document and here it is, just like Shannon's saying, over here is the outline. So I did it by Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, and now you can just skip to the day. So like when she clicks on unit two, it's like, zoop, and it just like booty scooties down to unit two. It shouldn't have to go like, I think it starts on page 15. So I can go Friday, Saturday, Saturday's voluntary. Don't think that we have, don't, we're not, I don't work for like a crazy place. It's like, see you all here on Saturday. Although, you know what? We might need it this year. Um, Saturday's I volunteer. Totally last Saturday. I totally was here last Saturday. Oh, I was going to say, listen, like a lot of us will be here anyway, but we'd like uh, to get a little cheese for that for that time. Um, and then there's Tuesday, but then I can go oh, all the way back up here mm-hmm. and I never had to like scroll or anything. So it's really nice. This isn't a particularly long document. It's really nice in long documents like yours, um, but I just like it in general. And it's easy to do. And so at the top, where it says normal, just select the text you want and then make mm-hmm. it say like heading number one. And then you can reformat it because it'll make it really big. And I don't like them to be really, I don't like their default formatting. So I'm like, put okay. it back down to 12. I don't need it to be a crazy big font, but yeah. You know, I wonder, it, that's something I never thought about. I wonder if there's a setting where we could modify the defaults. Yeah, I would hope so. Cause it's not great. Mm-hmm. It's not, it's, they, they really get huge. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think Meredith, this is one of like your, the things that you go, that you do all the time. If you want to take over. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Sure. <laughs> um, folders are my favorite. So we have two things happening in Chrome. One is bookmarks and then one is bookmark folders. And I think kind of left to their own devices, those can kind of live. Um, I don't know, like, like simultaneously, like interchangeable, but bookmarks live within a folder if you want them to. So what she's got here, what Shannon's got here is like individual websites that she's bookmarked. Um, and you can do that a couple of ways. Let me pull down like a, I'm going to do two things here. One is I'll show you, let's do Spanish one slideshow. Let's do unit one. I don't even know why, but why not? 
Um, so while that's loading, you can see I've got folders and I can't make this any bigger. Unfortunately, it makes everything around it bigger, but it doesn't make like and that annoying. Um, so all of these I'd have to like change the like the visual settings of my browser. So I've got all of these different folders up here, but these are just two general um, bookmarks. Do I have one called generic meeting? Yes, I do. Is that a video of a meeting that I was on so that I can put it on this monitor when people walk by my office and it looks like I'm on a web call? Yes, it does. Did I do that yesterday? Yes, I did. <laughs> so don't That's mind awesome. me. Because I noticed that people, I noticed it was a deterrent. People were walking by because I got I have a big window. You can't see, but I have like big picture windows right here. And people would walk by and they'd be like, oh, sorry. You know, and they'd walk away and I was like, heck yeah, this is amazing. So I was like, screencast. And then while the meeting was still going on, oh my God, I even moved my browser window at some point. So there's actually movement on the screen. So it looks legit. Yeah, it's great. I made that into a loom. I was like, let me just save that right here because I'm going to need that all pre-planning because it's bananas how many tech tickets we have. Oh, thank you for being my people and appreciating that because I'm just saying it's a great strategy. I was going to say, is send it to you. Like, can't, I was going to say, you could share that now, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. it is because all the names are blurred out. Like everything's like so blurry. So I don't think it's like, there's no FERPA. You're welcome. I know, right, Kelly? Yeah. So if kids might be like, oh, and headphones. I had my AirPods in, or my earbuds in and I was like, like, and then I only had to do that once because everyone saw the screen and went, you know, we all do that, like <laughs> the universal, like hands out, shoulders up. Yeah. So that was great. So like I, so yeah, let's, let's let, me, let me just pop that in there. Boink. So that's the nice thing about bookmarks. If this were like a Google thing, like a file or something, I don't have to open it and share the link. I can just right click on the bookmark itself and then boink, copy it and put it in the chat. Check out this bad boy. <laughs> let's see if it'll, oh, look at that. Ting. There it is. Amazing. You're welcome. Um, Just kidding. It's that just awesome. literally a Teams meeting. Um, so what I've got up here are all these folders, but let's say I wanted to save this unit one. You can do that in your Chrome browser over here by this little star. That's fine. It'll let you pick a folder. If you've lost your full, if you've lost bookmarks and you're like, I know I saved it. I did the star, but I don't know where it lives. It probably lives here under this little puzzle piece at the end, like right next to, or, um, yeah, that's what I want. Not, no, sorry, not extensions. Probably lives like in your bookmarks, like way like you'll have to like open up be like oh where's my bookmarks tab probably lives like some place down here uh when you click on the three little like stoplight dots but if you make a folder you can also do you can just drag it down so all i'm doing is pulling this little like icon here like this little padlock you can drag it oops let me click somewhere else you can drag it down directly oops i just screwed it up hold on let me hit refresh come on chrome I'm trying to like sing your praises here and you're not letting no, me. It's my dog, buddy. Like, of course I know. Is. Come on. God, it's like your kids or your pets. You know, you're like, show them how you, they'll never do it because there's an audience. Um, So I can pull this right here and now it lives right there. Yay, unit one slides. But if this was in a folder, I could also go boop and hold it over here. So a little thinking on the front end and you can make some folders that make sense for you. Like for me, like the one you have, I think was daily tabs. I have daily tabs yeah. too. And um, so I click here, I'm like, oh, this is my portal. This is my to-do list. I probably, I always have to send out some school messenger stuff, like blah, 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 blah. So these are my daily, you know, grade book, email, like weekly agenda slides, things that I have to use every day. You can also, if you had like three or four here where you sit down at your computer in the morning, you're in your classroom, you got your coffee, you got your tote, like you're putting stuff down. You're like, okay, here we go. Let me get logged in. You can also right click if you've got like four or five here like these i've got my email i've got my portal i've got the gmail i've got hello um i've got all of the things i think we're about to get company this is about to be hilarious um right click and you can do open all and all of them will open at the same time which is amazing so you don't have to go okay come on in you don't have to go like i have to open my hello come on in Hi. are you coming to yeah, Drew, you have Yay, this is so exciting. Thank you so much. Ignore, I'm on a webinar, but it, I'm they are. Come on, I'm so excited because I have been Listen, dying. I feel so, so terrible. Our IT guy just came to fix my compute, my printer, and I was oh, like, no, and no, you no. kicked him out. You're like, get out now. I'm like, no, this is this is a. I told you guys in the beginning. I was like, this is a work in progress. I am so excited, and I am so thankful for you. Can I get out of your way? Do you want me to do? Oh, you need to. Shannon, here you go ahead. Okay, I will okay. Put a mute for a sec here. <laughs> And okay, I Shannon, it's all you. Yeah. Hold I'm on. Let me move my let me move my folders. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna take okay. the screen for a second. But I'm gonna show Heck you yeah. something that my um our computer guy at the school actually showed us this week. Showed me like we we're just in there, just talking, hanging out, not a big deal. Um, and let me see if I can get the screen back. And I was telling about like uh tabs and saving things, and he like one up to me. Um, and I will share my 
what am I sharing? Let's share the whole screen. No, yes, tab, whatever. I'll share the whole screen. I don't know how this will go. So he was like, oh yeah, when I go in and favorite things. So he goes in and favorites it. And obviously like this is just Google. Google has like um, a logo, right? So instead of naming it Google, and then it'll show up here. See how I've just favorited Google. Um, he takes out the name, hits done, and then it just is a logo. So like here on my inbox, if I go here and just get rid of the title, now I've got more room. Like I know um, that this little thing is our, our um, like grade book, right? So now I just have a logo for my mail and I have a logo for Infinite Campus um, and like classes. I know that the Google Classroom, I know what that emblem means, right? So now I've got just logos over there or icons, whatever you want to call it. Now, if you're just linking to your Google Drive, that's a whole nother story. You're going to need to know what you're talking about here, but like Teams, I could do that. Um, here's my Google thing. So I learned something new this week and I thought that was kind of fun. Um, I'm going to stop sharing my screen now and I'm going to find that screen that Meredith was on, but I think we're getting Meredith back. Hey, how's everything? Look, we should all learn sign language in addition to our other languages. No, let me pull there we up. Go. The Is it, do you want me to stay there? Or do you want me to go to the next one? Oh yeah, no, go to the next one. That's cool. That, did you, Bye. Meredith, did you see the thing that my tech guy showed me? Did you just see no. what I was talking about? No. Girl, girl. Okay, do you have your screen up? I'll show you. Yeah. It's super cool. Go to your first bookmark. Okay. Your first, yeah, because like he just, when he saves something, if it's got like a, a recognizable icon or logo, he doesn't mm -hmm. keep the name of like, like if you just said email, he gets okay. rid of the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just gives you the icon. So Ooh. you save the like, bookmark section. I have yeah, seen people do that, but I never, and then it like made it smaller. And then it's like, yeah. hmm, it's smart. Just I've seen people do that, but I haven't done it. Those darn tech people. No, I know, right? They're so smart. Oh, let me mute. I mean, okay. And I'm let me know when you need me to advance. I'll be two seconds. Da, da, da. Are we advancing? Let me pull it up and actually share it because I think Meredith took, I, uh, we took off share. I got it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Got to figure out where we were though. Da, da, da. Present, 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 present. I promise you guys, we actually do know what we're doing. Let me get over here. Meredith just has a million screens, so I let her do all, all those because I suck at screen with one screen. I'm going to share my tab and I'm going to go back to the Canva. Da, 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 da. All right, check me. Can you guys, can you see it again? Can you see the screen again? All right, cool. Okay, so those were the bookmarks that we were just talking about. And I'm getting a thing over here. Um, and I like to put a go my folders and my bookmarks because I know if I'm got to work on something like the next unit or look at something for the previous unit, previous unit, I can just go to that folder and find it. Um, as Meredith was saying here, this lessons, those are the ones that I use every day. So I know I'm going to pull up this every day. It's just there. I change them out when I get to a new unit. Um, and that's just a picture of that inside. Da -da -da. Um, so the other thing, like, I don't know about you guys, if you're giving out a bunch of student links, do you guys do a lot of student links? Do you give your students a ton of different places to go to? I think everyone can unmute, by the way. If you have places, like I send my kids to Flipgrid, I, they have Quizlet stuff, like most, of, a bunch of people put a bunch of stuff in Google Classroom. And what I found last year is it was just a pain to like, just put everything in there. And what do you name it? What do you call it? And when the kids have missed today, what did I miss? What do I have to do? It was just kind of like, oh, this is organization that is a bit much for me. Um, so this year, all of my units in Google Classroom are, are going to just have two things. They have the project and then they have the materials page, right? So the project is where they're going to turn something in. So it's an assignment. Um, I don't know. Do you guys use Google? We use Google Classroom and I'm assuming most of you do. Some others probably use Canvas or I can't remember the other ones that people use. Um, so they're all just gonna have those two things in there. The project is an assignment. They just turn something in. There's nothing really in there. It's just a place for them to turn something in digitally. But this materials page, everything that I need the kids to interact with um, during my unit is right there. So like from here on out, I don't have to send them a link. I don't have to post anything. If something's off, I can fix it and it's live, right? So like on the first day of class, their job is to give someone their name. Okay, well, I made a Quizlet set for it. So there's the vocabulary. Um, but there's nothing that they need to do digitally um, at, at the next part of class. But if you look at like day two, 
Um, let's see if I can zoom in. Da -da -da. So like on day two, we've got vocabulary, that's a Quizlet card. And then I've also got like the alphabet because that's a whole different link and I'm not recreating the wheel. So it's a resource. So this first column is resources for kids to use. The second column is stuff that they have to do to turn back into me or stuff that they need for class. So vocabulary, alphabet, at the end of the day, they have to do a Flipgrid. Here's the link to the Flipgrid. I'm not making my kids like create an account and go log into Flipgrid and deal with class link and all this stuff. It's like, I just, here's the link, use your Google, your school account, log in. Like I'm not gonna make them navigate a billion different websites because it's annoying. So I'm gonna train my kids this year that everything that they need from me is on here. So even if they were gone for a day, what did I miss? Well, drives me nuts. Everyone hates that question. Here's your vocabulary. Right. Nothing. You, know, you didn't miss anything. We didn't Not do anything. Not a thing. We stopped. We stopped. Obviously. Um, so this is just the thing that like I have toyed with it in the past about like having sort of like a unit hub. Mm. And this is what it looks like for me this year. Oh, I keep zooming in and out. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, because I just don't like having to send kids a thousand different places. I don't like having to organize things in a thousand yep. different places. So I have it here now and all of those links are live and it's just one, one place for the kids to go to. Um, so that is that, uh, that's the end of all the things that I prepared. Well, which is really, which is really nice because like also parents appreciate that when you're just like, it's accountability to me, like social natural consequences, accountability when you're like, Hi, they've had this document the whole time, you know, and again, it looks like you've got your crap together because you do. And even if you just do it for the first one and it's like not great, but as you're going through unit one, then you're working on unit two. It's like none of these things that like I know that Shannon's got or that I've got unless unless you're well, I, we know you're superhuman, but like unless you're super duper superwoman, superhuman, like it happened overnight. Like they take a couple of years when I was like, I'm going to get my folders together and I'm going to get my like documents it was like a school year or two, yeah. you know, I had to be like really patient with myself because I'm not generally a patient person when it comes to like, I want to work. I want to be productive. Those are kind of like core values for me. So I have to really be like, okay, like I'm super patient with other people. I am not very patient with myself. And I'm like, I should be better at this by now working faster. I should be more efficient. Like why, why can't I get it together? So I had to remind myself that it took, that took a long time. And, and again, like this document, this one's ready. Mm. The next unit is not, yeah, but I'm using, the same, I'm using the same template, just change the names, change the proficiency levels. Uh, all mm -hmm. of those vocabularies are in there. And so even if I only get them updated the day of class, the kids mm -hmm. still have access to it and it removes one less thing for me to have to do, right? Like I've got it Absolutely. already in Google Classroom and as I mess with it on my side, it's live on their side yep. just to make my life easier because I hate mm -hmm. the posting of a thousand things. Well, and they start to, um, like kids, like you said before, start to, um, I'm going to share here so you can see again, they start to appreciate like the predictability of it, not start to, they appreciate the predictability of it and they start asking for it. They're like, Hey, are we going to get, do you have the one page, like the one page or unit thing? And then you're like, Oh crap, I gotta, get, I gotta do another one. Because, uh, but it's a good thing because then at least you're like, okay, my time's not wasted. If they don't ask for it, then I'm like, Oh, is this helpful? And if a lot of them go like, no, not really, then what am I doing? Okay, never right. mind. And then that's something you can cross off your list. But a lot of them do super appreciate it. Um, like I know for me, one of those things was, oops, hold on. My duty roster just randomly refreshed. I don't even know why that's open on the screen. Um, also, I don't have a duty. What life I is this? Three, and oh. what have I been doing? Like, what, guys, join the dark side. Get you a radio and don't get a duty. Drop, I park wherever I want. I don't know what to do with myself. I know. Shh, don't tell. Shh. Okay. Anyway, um, because everybody will be clamoring. <laughs> no wonder people. Anyway, okay. Let me let me be nice. But anyway, love my job. It's a great decision. But yeah, the perks. Them's the perks. So what's nice is I always and this started in COVID because I wanted to be able to say, like, I wanted to say, be able to say, let me know if I'm in your way too. I wanted to be able to say, um, like as many always statements as possible. Like quiz one is always going to be reading. Quiz two is always going to be listening. And then so on and so forth. So I started doing that. So as you go through this folder and you see, I'm going to do a little preview here. Like when you click on, when I preview quiz one, it's going to be reading. If I preview quiz two, it's going to be listening. I wanted to say all quizzes will always have 20 questions, things like that. Not a detector. Are you sure? Okay. Can you just put dots on them? Done. I did them and then I circled them kind of like in pink. So. The key, so um, I can leave this part unlocked and then just lock. We'll be here though. Oh, so I can leave it unlocked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll be here all day. 
Okay. Well, this yeah, is one hundred percent. That's me. Yay! <laughs> Thank you so much. See you much. You I know. We hide back here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'll so see you tomorrow. All I need is just. All right. I think Meredith is. She's directing and pointing. But y'all, I am typically the timekeeper in all of our meetings. Um, I think for now we can probably go ahead and close up. If you guys want to hang out and wait to see if Meredith can come back and share all of the things that she has in her brain, cool. If not, I hope you guys all have a wonderful start to the new year. Um, and I'm a little bit envious of Meredith's office, like an office. Oh, she's back. And we're back. Okay. okay. Um, but anyway, being as predictable as possible I, for me was really important in COVID because I wanted to be like, this is the, you know, I mean, not the kids were not, I'm going to say, I'm going to say doing the bare minimum. And I don't mean that in a negative way, but I mean, they were like, what is it? Because I'm sharing a Chromebook with three siblings, chip chop lady, where do I find it? What am I doing? What's a grade, you know, whatever. So I found that put kind of a spark under me to get like, oh yeah, I should be even more predictable. I was already pretty predictable. So even things like that, thinking about before I even created, what can I, like, how consistent can I be for me? That was like then in the files when I was making stuff, I'm like, oh, 20 questions. You said quizzes are always 20 questions. What if I want 21? But nope, got to make a 20 then. Like just really holding myself to some different um, some different things was, was important. So um, things like that, just things to think through. And then like with the tech tools, like Shannon was saying, um, thinking like, do I need it? Do I not need it? Do I, what do I need it for? Is just because somebody mentioned it was great. We were talking about classroom screen today. If you've ever seen classroomscreen.com, oh, game changer. I wouldn't teach without it. Um, and that's super nice. I used to pay for it and it's worth like all the money. But like, here's an example. Did I make one the other day? Yeah. So like the other thing you can do, which is really neato, is you can embed a slideshow. So if you do teach from slides, like a slideshow where you're presenting all the content, whatever, you can embed that and be presentation ready. So write these little three bad boys right here, boink, enter full screen. Now you're in your slideshow. You don't have to go to like another tab. I know. Isn't that amazing? So you've got like your timer. You got your little stoplights. You got your little noise. They were talking about it the other day and I was like, you know, I really do that, but I want, I use Google Slides. I'm so glad that you said that. Is it still uh -huh. like you have to pay for it though? Um, No, the only difference... I just screwed this up. I was trying to show that you can change the font. Um, the only difference in the free and the paid is like you can't save them in the free version, but like who cares? Just don't okay. close the, it, it's whatever. Yeah, it doesn't take that long to reassemble. So classroom screen is really awesome. And then you could have like, you can have a video playing. You can embed anything you want. If it's got an embed code, you can embed it. So you could have everything already ready. Like I said, plus your timers, multiple timers. It tells you how many of these you have open. Like I've got open two traffic lights. Um, yeah, exactly. The custom backgrounds are really cool too. And like, mm -hmm. so you can save them to be like French one, French two. You can have your proficiency goals all the time. Like your wallpaper could be just a picture of that. And then all of those kind of, you get kind of creative if the, yeah, to me, 30 bucks a year. I'm like, take my freaking money. It's like <laughs> not even $3 a month. Are you kidding me? It's like a cup of coffee. Come on. So, um, all of this will be nice. You can do a little SEL check-in students can re like respond to this poll, which is cool. So they just get a code that they like go to a website. It's like a poll everywhere or like anything like that, like a gim kit. They just go in and like and do a thing. So it'll show in real time, or you can hide the responses. So you have all these different widgets down here. You can embed Google audio. Cause don't forget that if you do, um, uh, I'm just going to word the right listening. This is not going to pull up an audio file. Uh, amazing. Oh, we're in the after party. Whoops. Um, beep, beep, beep. Okay. So let's see if I pull this over too many screens and it's so zoomed in. Okay. So when I open this, let's make sure I'm not a liar here. When I open this, I have no idea what this is. Unit five test listening short. Rawr. See, this is two years last modified two years ago. Delete it. Okay. Anyway, let me not, let me see what it is. So if I want this, Notice there's no, I can link, of course, but I don't want to link. It's slow loading. <laughs> Do it. We'll give it a sec here. But it's an audio. It's an MP3 file. And if I want to have that audio ready, like, oh, let's pause it. because I have no idea. I don't want it to be blasting. I want it to be ready, rigged up. Like, we're going to do some listening practice. This is the interpretive section of that lesson plan, like Shannon showed. When I go here, it's not going to have any kind of, like, embed, like, information. But if I click open in a new window, this is so dumb. I don't know why Google is this way. Then it's like, oh, did you want an embed code? Here you go. 
Isn't that stupid? Why doesn't it just, anyway, whatever, we're not in charge. So I'm mm. gonna click embed item. I'm gonna copy all of this, hit okay. And then if I go back, now if I'm in like go formative, if I'm in my LMS, if I'm in anywhere where I want those two little like carrot embed things, mm. I can just paste it into there. So I think what you can also do, I've seen somebody embed audio in here, but let's try it. I'm gonna go more widgets, embed, and then pasty paste, let's see. Can I have my audio set and ready to, oh, look at us. I know it. Bom, 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 bom. That is That's so right. amazing. All right. We did I'm it. Isn't that fun? I'm You're welcome. That. So like worth the money, but you, it's also free if you just want like one screen and you don't mind like doing, you know, setting it up every day like you would anything. I'm going to get rid of this dude because this is in the way. It's annoying. There we go. Let's see if it plays. Hola, Crispin. ¿Qué tal? Muy bien, Mari. Muy bien, Marisol. Neither of their names. Um, because I know those people. Amazing. So then you can bring it down here. And I would always have like I just send a kid over and click on it to play. And when I had it in like in Google Drive or put it on a slide, because you can also have that just big slide with your audio ready. Yeah, you got options, but classroom screens, thebomb.com. So there you go. Mostly that noise meter is some kind of magic. That's the thing that I would love. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, yeah. The random class picker, super cool. Paid feature, okay. totally worth it. Yeah, it's great. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Highly Yay. recommend. Yay, Meredith, that was awesome. Yeah, definitely because of course we love to chit chat. Look at um, us. So oh, you got open house, so I do, and I think I have pizza waiting. Ooh, I'm not changing clothes until I have spilled the pizza on myself because yeah, I was gonna you know, say don't. Mm -hmm. oh. Awesome. Nope. Cool. Yeah. All right, you know we didn't put a slide in there for our next meeting. Do we know when our next one is? And Ooh. About? Um. Yes. Hold please. Yeah. Look, hold please. I have the whole <laughs> graphic. Do, 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 do. September, September 7th. Thank you. Yeah. And let me get the link. Hold on. Where is your tweet? There it is. Boop, boop, boop. So you can, let me see what this does. Hold on. You guys don't need Twitter to see this, but it would help. Hold on. No, 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 no. Ugh. Lies. There we go. Okay. So there's the tweet with the graphic. And. Yes. You know what I've never tried to do is like copy an image into Teams. Oh, it worked. Look at it. Okay. You know what? I will say, don't love that you can't really do that in Zoom. Don't mind it in Teams there. That was nice. Um, oh. So there you go. There's the the whole cool. shebang. Yay. And all of those links will register. So what are we doing on the 7th? We are doing our favorite Chrome tools, which <laughs> we kind of previewed mm -hmm. tonight. Heck yeah. So we can, uh, I'm going to put cool. the link in there. Dude, there we go. Ta-da. There it is. All right. Well, cool. I'm going to go get my pizza Yay. and my open I hope everyone yeah. has not students in July like I do on on Monday. Mm. Nope, All right, don't like it. I am gonna close everything down, and I'll hopefully see everybody. It was yeah. great to see you. All Absolutely, right. I know it was great seeing you guys. Hopefully, those are All helpful. Right. Let us know if we miss yeah. anything. Yay! All right. Bye. All right. Bye.